How do you start an event planning blog? That's what we're going to discuss today on Event Planning Blueprint TV. Hey, event planners, it's Melanie, and I'm your host at Event Planning Blueprint TV. Today, we're going to be talking about how to start an event planning blog or newsletter, even if you don't have any experience with writing. You may be asking yourself, why do I need an event planning blog? Well, there are a few reasons, and some of those are that it helps you reach a larger audience rather than reaching out one-on-one. -on -one. It also sets you up as a leader in the industry. And it's also a great marketing tool because it helps you establish and build relationships with your clients and differentiate yourself from the competitors in your area. So in addition to the three tricks that I'm about to share with you, here's a tip. Google and other search engines love when you have new and fresh content on your website on a regular basis. But you need to be aware and make sure that your content is well written and grammatically correct. So if you're not sure, if you're not an expert writer, which most of us aren't, I know I certainly am not, then get a proofreader. And if you don't know anyone, you can go to freelance sites like Upwork.com to find one at a relatively inexpensive price. So let's get into those three tricks so you can get started today. Trick number one, when I started my blog at eventplanningblueprint.com over three years ago, I had no idea what I was going to write about and I certainly was not a writer. So how do you get started? The easiest way to start your event planning blog is to write out the top 10 problems or obstacles that your clients experience. For example, what are the 10 struggles you hear over and over again from your clients? Take each of those 10 issues and provide a solution to each one so you can help solve their problems. This not only helps your current clients, but it's a great way to market your services to future clients. You can also show your audience some behind the scenes tips or tricks to help them get to know you better because people love this. Trick number two, schedule your posts and be consistent. I cannot stress this enough. Choose a day of the week or month and stick to it. I post new articles each Wednesday, but you may decide that once a month works for you. So whether you choose the 15th or the 30th of each month, make sure you're consistent. The more you post, the better, but the minimum amount to post is once per month. And trick number three, use videos, graphics, or photos to help maximize your posts and keep your readers on your page longer. Google loves this. Now, I'd love to hear from you. In the comments below, share with me the top 10 struggles or obstacles that you hear over and over again from your clients, and feel free to leave as much detail as you'd like. And if you have any questions you'd like me to answer on an upcoming episode of Event Planning Blueprint TV, feel free to leave your question in the comments below. And if you'd like even more great videos on how to build your event planning business, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel at Event Planning Blueprint TV. And then get yourself on over to eventplanningblueprint.com and make sure you sign up for a free weekly advice. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again next Wednesday.